Hello guys and welcome. This is part one video that will show you how to do good EWE DPS on Valkyrs at LOD with Hunter, Mage, Warrior, Feral Druid and Warlock. The rest of the classes will be in part two video. Let's start with MM Hunter. We will cover the spec you have to use, glyphs and how to do proper EWE damage on Valkyrs. This is the spec you will have to use with 3 points into Trap Mastery and Cliff of Explosive Trap. Now, before Valkyrs are about to be summoned, you want to position yourself good, stuck with the rest of the raid, land Frost Trap and then Fire Trap. After you see Valkyrs move to the side left or right, you don't want to be in their direction of movement because the file may be cast on you. Target the one that is close to the edge and DPS her with your normal DPS rotation. But you don't use aim shot, instead of this spell you use multi shot. Once the target HP is around 52-53%, you move to the next Valkyrie that is close to the edge. For fire and frost firebolt mages, you don't have to use specific spec or glyphs as long as you have living bomb. Before Valkyrs are about to be summoned, you want to stack with the rest of the raid as close as possible to the Lich King. After you see Valkyrs move to the side, left or right, you don't want to be in their direction of movement because the file may be cut on you. If that happens, you simply blink to the stairs or close to the edge. When you are moving left or right side on the Valkyrs, you put Living Bomb on all three of them. Pick the close one to the edge and start DPS her. After target HP reach 52-53%, move to the next one that is close to the edge. Fury Warriors are beasts when it comes to EOE DPS on Valkyrs. Some guilds may want you to spec into Piercing Hole. This will help the raid to slow the Valkyrs. You keep DPS the Lich King waiting for Valkyrs. When they come, you use and keep Piercing Hole to slow them. Target the one that is close to the edge. Keep your normal DPS rotation with two little changes. You replace Heroic Strike with Cliff and prioritize Whirlwind over Butters. After the target HP is around 52-53%, you move to the next one that is close to the edge. If there is a bad defile in the Valkyrie's way, you simply use Intervene to move away from that defile. Of every other melee Feral Druid away DPS, it's really strong. You DPS the boss as usual, stuck with the rest of the raid. Make sure you have good time on Savage Roar, like 50 seconds plus, and you just reapply all your dots on the Lich King, right before Valkyrs come. After they come, you pick the one that is close to the edge and the same time in range for other targets for swipe. All you have to do is just spam swipe. It is a good thing to save your berserk and or tiger's fury for the Valkyrie. If there is a bad defile in melee, you can use your dash to move faster or feral druid charge if the Lich King or another Valkyrs in range but not into defile. Warlocks can deal good away DPS on Valkyrs as demonology and affliction stacks. Warlocks have the freedom to not stack with the rest of the raid before Valkyrs. All we have to do is put a portal close to the edge and stay near him because if we get picked by Valkyrs we can use our portal to come back on the platform. 
make sure you don't stay at the direction that volunteers are moving. We don't want to put the file in their way if it is cut on us. Once volunteers are summoned and we are not picked, we can use demonic charge to go near LK and Valkyrs pop demonic form with emulation aura and spam seed of corruption until Valkyrs drop the persons they pick. It is a good thing to have corruption and emulation on Lich King so we can proc our bonuses that we can have from them. As a Friction Warlock, we want to use our portal close to the edge and stay near him, staying as Demo Spec. When Valkyrs are summoned, we put Corruption on all of them, target LK, keep Hound debuff and Unstable Affliction on the Lich King and spam Seed of Corruption on him. That way, Seed of Corruption will benefit from procs and debuffs we have on the target. If Valkyrs are not in the range of the Lich King, or the tank is not moving LK with Valkyrs, we are spamming Seed of Corruption to the close Valkyr to others. Here I will end this part 1 of the video. If you are doing these little things that I show you, I'm sure you will do good AOE DPS without failing on the file and your raid leaders will be happy.